the Victorian area, though. I, I, I do. Think they, they, so much about all it. their things were so um, <clears throat> um, laced with yes, symbolism. They were. Oh, uh, this is another piece here. Um, it's not a good example, but. Yeah, look at the horses' expressions. They're just. Now, this, of course, is a religious painting. Mm -hmm. This is this is uh, this was widely copied. The original painting entitled Pharaoh's Horses was done by an English painter by the name of John Herring in the 1850s, and this represents the story out of the book of Exodus. God said to Moses, "Point your staff at the sea," and the sea parted, and the Israelites crossed on dry land. And Pharaoh, seeing that, sent out his horses and men. And God said to Moses, point your staff at the sea. Mm -hmm. And all of Pharaoh's horses and men were destroyed. Mm -hmm. That's why great fright painted in the horse's eyes. And this is not a good rendering, but this is a wall of water here. Mm -hmm. And then Moses' sister, Miriam mm -hmm. picked up a timbrel and sang a song in praise to God. Just amazing. 